We're going to continue on with this mission from last week. Just to recap, if you look down towards the middle the south, you see uh, in red objective Hammerhead. We in, uh, inserted into the water down at LZ Cast and then patrolled up and the objective is to find the communication wires that are running along the track somewhere. Where I put the red dots, the most northerly one was uh, an empty bunker uh, or sentry point. This second one down to the furthest down to the south was a manned bunker at a intersection so there's a little road that runs off to this hut and then we went further south and we came across this uh, hut here we were probably about 20 meters away when we saw there was a um, communication mast of some kind and before we had a chance to really set up on it uh, we got engaged from uh, over here somewhere and uh, possibly in the actual hut itself uh, we then broke contact and we got away. We didn't extract and we're sitting in that position. So the objective is to find those communication wires. So I think what I'd like to do is move from the Nylock position and check out um, properly this whole area here. Uh, so this hut with a red dot and up to the intersection. There's a pattern sort of emerging here where the uh, enemy static positions on the road are actually located at the intersections. So with that in mind, uh, it's quite possible that there's an enemy position down around here somewhere. Uh, possibly enemy in this area too. Same. And, and considering there's an enemy at this hut, um, there wasn't at the other hut up here. But there's enemy here and there was a communication um, communication tower too, so we need to sort of get eyes on that because we're the whole point of being here is to look for enemy communication wires So I think that the first step will be to get in Get better eyes on this this whole area here um, And the road leading down to the intersection Okay, so we'll have three groups so to be Nazar and myself as the scout group We'll put pixel with Fox and um, as the gun group and Fox is the two I see, and we'll have a, uh, a rifle group which will be Junior and Marcus. Okay, 110 meters at a uh, bearing of 1450. Take it really slow, Nazza. Take your time. Stop often and scan the area, okay? Voice is down. Let's go.
Just keep, keep on the same bearing, should be about another 50 or 60 metres to the hut. Okay, yep, step up. Put some fencing for 1400 mils. Just gonna try and plot that. So the close fencing is like the ones hidden by the, uh, the trees or the shrubs. Say again? Oh, through there? Yep. Yeah. So. And then there's some further fencing that's uh, to the right past the log over here, 1600. Yep. A bit further away then. So beyond the bush that's directly in front of us is enemy position, uh, enemy okay. static guard in a um, log bunker. Yep. So he, he was should have been able to see me actually. So if we go any further forward, he's going to see us. So he's going to be basically at that hut somewhere. Yep. So I think we might push um, to the north a little. And then see, just uh, see where that next palm tree is over there in the, the bushes. Yeah, just, yeah. Oh. So, right there. Yep, same. I'm just going to mark that uh, enemy position down. Far east, guy in bunker facing the other way. Okay. See him, yep. An enemy sentry just to the left of the hunt. Yep. 
the communication tower is there somewhere, but I just can't see it yet. Alright, there's no more visual from here, so we might head back down um, to the southwest, down to our original position. Um, we can inform the guys of what's going on. And then we'll swing around and we'll take maybe take the whole patrol and um, we'll swing around more to the south and then do this again. Absolutely fucked from crawling across there. Alright, I'll give yeah, you an update good. update so far. Okay, so at the at the uh, hut itself we have an enemy sentry just standing outside the door on the northern side, which is marked with a red dot. We have what looks to be down at the intersection, uh, enemy sentry and a uh, log um, bunker. And there's possibly one here. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure if I saw uh, another enemy sentry and a log bunker here, or whether it was the same one at the intersection there. So I'm not really sure what's going on down on the uh, the southern and eastern side of this. So what I want to do from here is uh, we'll move around down to the southern side and set up again, and uh, and check it out. So I'll just come up with a better no plan than that. Get all that, Fox? Yep, got all that. Still got plenty of hexy left over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna, uh, as per the plan there, we're just gonna go due south for 60 metres and then due east for 60 metres. Uh, we'll set up again there and then move up, um, do another recce forward. Um, so it's about another 10 metres back to my original start position, so 70 metres really. So we'll just pick up uh, Marcus on the way, I'll give him a quick briefing and then we'll just keep going, okay? Yep.
just pointing out to you there's a you can see the hut there and on the left side of the hut or the western side of the hut you can see the uh, comms tower sort of white white poles sort of sticking up through the trees yeah I can see them alright we'll continue on set up, uh, just find a position around here so you can see this hut and I'll get Marcus to push out more to the right. Push out a little bit further uh, to the east nose. Alright, take up position around here. The uh, hut will be probably around a bearing of 61 or 62, 6300 mils, something like that. Yeah. So a little bit left of north. So you're going to have the crossroads to your nor nor east from here. And you're also going to have the road. Um, over to the northeast, okay? So you're going to want to keep eyes um, up towards the north somewhere and another set of eyes over to the uh, northeast or east. No worries. Alright, Nazra and I are going to so push back a little bit and we're going to push forward in between you and Fox. Okay. Alright, take us back uh, to the west, Nose. Okay. Step low. Fox, the other guys are about 20 meters 
uh, to your right or southeast. Yep. Now, um, Nazar and I are going to push forward basically northeast from here. Right, Naz, let's go northeast. Go real slow, stay low. Stay behind uh, cover as much as possible. Do you want me to keep going northeast? Um, let me just check the map again. That's our approximate location, I think. I'm just wondering if if we've got a comms tower here, if there would be communication wires running down this track here. So I'd like to be it able to get sense. yeah, I'd like to be able to get up here and check it out. So I'm thinking we get the guys, we go back, get the guys, move a little bit further to the um, east and then take go north and then set the guys up around here somewhere yep no makes sense all right let's go back okay, let's Follow me guys, we'll get, head back to Fox and I'll do a, a brief and um, change of plan now. Sandy and I've got an updated plan, but now Sandy's here. Uh, we must well take this opportunity to bring him in. It's worth investigating this road that leads from the hut uh, up to the main road. If there's a comms tower here uh, where I put the purple dot, uh, then it's possible there's communication wires of some kind running along here. So I want to get up to that road and check it out. Um, I've put an OBS marker there, which is where I want to get to. We are currently here. 
So I want to move from here to the east and then change direction and go north and set up there. And this time uh, I'll share the, uh, the load around. If Marcus and Junior want to move forward and do the reconnaissance and I'll sit back with Nazo and then and Fox and Pixel. We'll hold the fort while you move up in a north westerly direction to get to the road and see what you can see. It's going to be fucking dangerous. Um, there's enemy really close there. Okay, so if you feel you can't get to the road, then stop. Don't go any further. Um, don't take any... I mean, obviously you're taking chances to get there, but don't go too far with taking the chance, okay? Just getting bearings and distances, and Marcus, just have a look in my pack. There should see a, um, a wiretap device. You can grab that. I'll see if I've got room. Hmm, Junior, do you want to see if you can grab it? Alright, now let's take us out due east, uh, 80 metres. Alright, moving east. Change direction north. Watch, move north. We've got comms wires at 5,600 mils. And what looks to be maybe a log bunker of some kind. 5,600 mils, see comms wires and a log bunker. Yeah, same. 
Alright, do you want to set up at that log just over there? Behind us to the east. Six hundred mils. You'll see comms wires and a log bunker. Mils. Same. Right, you want, you're going to want to move up there and have a look. Um, so we got Fox set up over there. I'm going to take Naz, and um, we'll push out a little bit to the left. If you can really slowly on your guts, even get junior and just move up and check it out if you think it's safe enough to do so put the wiretap on it get back here and we'll give it about five minutes and then we'll move back in and get the wiretap again oh, now cool. that bunker could be manned okay so don't just necessarily take a beeline into it use use the foliage get up there and just see if there's anyone there first okay Junior. Junior, do you see the wires uh, at about 5500? You sort of stand where I am. You the can see. I see a yes. um, I see a fence line about 100 meters uh, from where we are. 200 meters. So I think that's the fence line to the main road. Yeah, I see. Yep. We're gonna head up there, and if safe to do so, place a wire tap. We're then going to come back here, wait for five minutes, and then come back and get that wiretap again. Yeah, Roger. Right. There's a bunker in front of us. I'll just make sure it's clear. <sighs> I think he's alone, I'm gonna take the shot. Okay, I'll record it for Canberra. You think we're clear? Let's just wait. Okay, sounds like uh, Marcus went all silenced on this. So far. I've been hearing a snapping noise, I don't know if it's his silenced gun or not. Yeah, I think it's Marcus, he's got a silenced gun.
placed it. Alright, let's crawl back and come back in five minutes. The other patrol down the road hasn't even moved. Yeah. Uh, the other patrols haven't been alerted, they have no idea. Got movement. 400 mils coming our direction. Looks like three people coming in, one wounded. Yeah, potentially, yep. Sorry, I'm not wounded. Just four people. He's the only one in a bunker. I thought if we smack him, he'll be hidden in there. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> the only problem is he got back up after I had shot him. Okay. Contact! Contact! Contact southwest. Break contact, contact southwest. Break contact southwest. Healing southwest, southwest. Keep healing southwest. Junior. Last minute, fix it. Southwest confirm here. River. Cross the river, cross the river. Crossing the river now, last man, Junior. Man down, man down. Keep going, Nazar, get across.
Southwest, Southwest. Southwest. Around your body. Push in. Keep going and uh, we'll, we'll deal with the uh, injury in a minute. Victor moving, southwest. Oh, Victor moving, southwest. Alright, hold position here on the shoreline, keep laying down fire oh, across the river. Marcus is going to work on the injured. That's that oh, turning on by me. Let us know when he's up, Marcus. Loading. How's it going, Mark? Uh, standing right behind me. Okay. I think we're all up now. Yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, uh, keep breaking contact. Uh, west south west. West south west. <laughs> we keep doing the peel maneuver. We're breaking west south west. Got Keep breaking west south west. Break contact, west south west. West south west. Yeah, west south west. Moving. Moving west moving. south west. Sandy moving. Okay. West south west. Alright, in a patrol formation, NAS will take up the front. Sandy, last man. We're gonna be moving at a fast patrol. Roger, direction. Uh, west, south, west. <laughs> Someone tell Sandy we're not in break contact anymore. Back in the patrol formation, fast pace, Sandy. Now let's take us 4700 mils, um, about 100% pace. Yeah, it's mil 
Excellent, get a helicopter on the way, mate. We're at LZ Queen. Roger. Oh, I was confident we got away with that. Maybe we didn't. Or oh, we just got unlucky. We may have just got unlucky, but I, I felt confident we got away with it too. There was no. Uh, so we had OBS on some other enemy. We played with the lights out here, we went and had a look at him. <laughs> Contact west, break contact west. Break contact west. Break contact west. Break contact west. Break out. Break out. Moving. Sandy, come on. The other side of the LZ, hug the tree line to the north, keep breaking contact. Hug the tree line to the north, keep breaking contact. Go, Marcus. Ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck my bandaging animation. No worries. <laughs> Last man. Coming through. Last man. Last man, there's up. Last man, Cambo. Come on, last man, Sadie. Big self, last man. Last man. From here. I'll just cover you with damage. Oh, legend, thanks. <laughs> okay, stepping off. Last man. Last man, Kendo. Last man, Sandy. This is from our last position. Um. Stand your ground here, stand your ground here. Clear my back blast. Stand your ground, stand your ground. Where are you? Here. Try and get him over here in this corner. Get him alone on your smoke. Okay. Enemy in the white smoke. Enemy in the white smoke.
up the lens, it'll be rifle group in first, then scout group, and then gun group. Contact 1600 mils, 1600 mils.